Hey folks, we're still doing that stuff up there. That's right, this is geometric sequences and series. And in fact, we are going to be doing, huh, section 1.4. Let's get started. Okay, let's start off by recalling something here. That if we add up the terms of a sequence, the result is called a series. Oops, that's a terrible looking S over there. Series. Okay, good. So that's a series. Um, so there is a way to sum a finite, a finite geometric series. It's given by this formula over here. The sum Sn is given by the term 1 times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. Again, r being the common ratio and n being the number of terms being added. Okay, I want to prove that this formula is correct, and so here's the proof. It seems a little odd, uh, but let's let's just roll, roll with it and see what happens. Uh, the sum Sn is given by this, T1 plus the next term, which is T1 times the common ratio, plus the next term, which is T1 times the common ratio twice, plus, and so on and so forth, all the way to the last term, which this term here you may recognize is Tn. Right, term 1 times the common ratio n minus 1 times. Okay, now I'm going to multiply this first line by r. So I get the second line r times sn equals t1 times r plus t1 times r squared, etc., etc. We've multiplied by r in every term. Okay, now we're going to take the first term and subtract the second term and let's see what we get. On the right side, we get, or on the left side, sorry, we get Sn minus R times Sn equals, well, let's see, we're going to get T1 minus T1R. That's the first subtraction. Plus T1R minus T1 r squared plus dot 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 all the way to the final subtraction which is t1 r to the n minus 1 minus t1 r to the n okay and now we factor so there's a common factor on the left side of s n that's Sn times 1 minus R. And what about on the other side here? Hey, wait a minute. T1 times R is being added and subtracted. Well, that, that term's going to go away. And guess what? In fact, the next term in between here, we would subtract, we would add a t1r squared, and then we would subtract it off, and then we would add a t1r cubed and subtract that off, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. In fact, all the terms in the middle get canceled out. And all we're left with is t1 minus t1r to the n. Factoring t1, I get t1 times 1 minus r to the n. Then dividing both sides by 1 minus r, we end up with the formula above. Isn't that wild? Okay, anyway, that gives us a formula. Uh, there are two alternate forms of the formula that are given here. So you might want to highlight those. Those can be useful, so we have a, a, a formula that we can use when we know uh, T1, R, and N. And we have a formula that we can use when we know Tn, T1, and R. Okay, and so that'll come in handy for our two examples, and then we're gonna go straight to homework after this. So our first example is find the sum of the first eight terms. Well, we know that term one is five in this sequence right here. We know we have eight terms that we're going to add together 
And what's the common ratio? Well, it's, it's negative 2. Because I'm multiplying by negative 2 to get from 5 to negative 10, and negative 10 to 20, etc., etc. Okay, so we have all the information we need. We can now plug the formula, S8 is equal to term 1, which is 5. I'm going to use the top formula at the top of the page, 1 minus r to the n, so that's negative 2 to the power of 8, all divided by 1 minus r, which is negative 2. I'll just plug in the formula with these three values. Let's see what I get. I'll type it into my calculator. And the result of typing into the calculator, I get negative 425. Try that typing just to make sure you get the order of operations correct. Okay, in our second example here, we were asked to find 164th plus 116th plus 1 quarter plus dot 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 all the way up until the nth term, 1024. Why don't you pause the video and try that yourself first? Okay, welcome back. I've just taken the time now to write down what do we know. We know that the first term is 164th. We know that the final term, nth term, is 1024. We don't know n. That's too bad. And r is 4. The common ratio is 4. Okay. Now, uh, we could plug one of our formulas in. But which formula is it that I'm going to plug in where I don't know n? Well, it's the last formula on the right there in the alternative formulas. We have Sn is equal to R times Tn minus T1, all divided by R minus 1. So we could say that Sn in this case is equal to R4 times 1024 minus T1, which is 164th. And that's all divided by 4 minus 1. And typing that into my calculator, I get 1,365.328125. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Why don't you try some of this homework here uh, from page 16? Good luck.